Getting started with InDesign. InDesign is a desktop publishing application used by professionals all over the world to create things like posters, flyers, brochures, magazines, books. So let's see how to get started. When you open the application, you get to a welcome screen and you've got some options here on the right to create a new document. There's two specialty documents here if you want to create a book. This is generally used for um, it's an advanced feature really in InDesign if you're creating chapters and uh, uh, page numbers and index entries and things like that. The library is for when you want to save and use common uh, graphic and text elements over and over. Um, if you need help with a new document, sometimes it's nice to go into the templates and let's have a look at the templates. When you click on that, it opens up Adobe Bridge which, which ships with InDesign and I can see a lot of folders here. And let's say I'm looking for a template um, that's going to help me with a newsletter. So I found the folder. I'm going to double click on it. I can use the slider at the bottom to make these thumbnails a little bigger and go, oh, this is the one I want. So I'm going to double click on that. And what you can do with this is you can come in and change the text and change the pictures. But it's giving you a basic style or look that you don't have to replicate from scratch. So I'm going to scroll back a little bit by holding the control minus sign so you can see that this is a five page or a four page document. Um, let's say that I want to add a page to it. I'm going to click just to the right of this page right here and I think if I hit control shift P it'll give me a new page. It did and you can see that it's giving me the same basic style and I can add columns of text in here and, and pictures in there and that's basically what a template will do for you. It helps you get started if you don't want to work from scratch. So I'm going to close this, hit no, and go back and look at documents. Now there's a couple of ways of couple of ways of, of opening up a uh, opening up a new document, and one way of course is by clicking this. Another way is the old traditional way, which is to go into File, New, Document. And another quick way is to go into the, to the keyboard and hit Control N, and that brings up the new document dialog box. Let's say that in my pretend document that I'm going to create, I'm going to have eight pages. I would just type in eight pages there. I could delete or add more later. If these are going to be loose leaf pages, I might want to uncheck facing pages. But if it's going to be like a book sort of layout, I'll probably want to keep the facing pages checked. I can change the paper size here. As you can see, I'm, I've got the uh, the common formats from the states and overseas. So I'm just going to go with letter for right now. And of course, I can change these numbers and the orientation as I might need. I can decide how many columns I want in my document. Let's say I want two. And I'm going to leave the gutter at its default number. The gutter is referring to that space between the columns on that, on each individual page and so I can change that if I need to, but I think I'm going to be okay with the default. Um, the In the margins, I can uh, change a number, for instance, and if I have the chain clicked, it's going, and I click out, then I, I can get everything with the same margin, but if I want uh, a special margin system set up, I can uncheck that, and for example, okay, I've got I'm using the I'm I'm thinking about using a layout that's going to give me like a book sort of layout. So I really want the inside margins to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to change the top to 0.5, the bottom to 0.5, and the outside to 0.5, and leave the inside at one inch. So if you can imagine, if as the text is curving into the spine of the book, it'll need more room. So that's why I'm doing that. So I'm going to click OK and see what we get. And I'm going to back out again so you can see this by hitting Control minus. And you can see I've got several pages here. There are eight. Um, I'm looking at just the first one right now. I'm going to zoom back in. And I'm going to begin to lay in some text by clicking on the text tool and clicking at the top left and then coming down to the bottom, letting go and then doing the same thing there and letting go. And then I'm just going to go to the internet just for a minute because I want to grab some text. Instead of typing, I want to show you how text will move from one column to the next. And I need some text to do that. And it's going to take me forever to type out all of a bunch of text in one column. 
So I'm just going to go and grab something from the news. Um, just something random on the BBC. And it's going to hit control copy and then back over here I'm going to hit control paste and now I've got some text to work with control V is V is for paste and pasting and then paste again now in my column you can see okay it's not really going over to the next column so if you look at the bottom of this column you can see this little icon this little square icon right there now if I go back to my pointer tool and click on that little red square I'll get this kind of an icon with kind of a chain that's telling me that's going to link to somewhere. So I'm going to link that text to the next column and now you can see it's picking up on the next column. And I could continue to type information in, control V. And let's say that I was happy with that for right now. I can also add a picture to this real quickly. If I just take the rectangular um, placement tool right there and just draw a box and then I can go to file and place and look for a picture on my desktop like I think this will work Let me hit OK and you can't tell this but I know that this picture is getting cut off on the bottom but I can change that by going up into the ribbon this is referred to as the ribbon in the application and checking the fit frame to contact or content and so it fit the frame to the original picture. I didn't really want that. What I wanted was the picture to fit to the frame that I laid down. So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo and then select maybe the fit content to frame. That sounds a little better. And now I've got that picture inside the frame that I drew out. And if I go back to the type tool, I think I can draw out my little margins around this picture a little bit. But that's not going to work until I go back into the ribbon and click on Wrap Around Bounding Box. I'm going to do that. And when I do that, you can see the text um, wraps around the image. And I can change the distance from the image to the text a little bit like this. And so that looks pretty nice. Um, I can hide these guides for just a moment to see how it looks without the guides. I think if I hold down the Control semicolon or the control H to hide. Yeah, control H did it. And so you, if I had this printed out on paper, it would look something like this. So that's basically how to get started in InDesign. And that's all for this video.